Holy, it says in John 7, 38, the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. See, God could not dwell inside man's heart in the Old Covenant because the heart was not cleansed. Sin was only covered in the Old Covenant with the blood of bulls and goats. Christ had to die and shed his blood before our hearts were cleansed. And then only could the Holy Spirit dwell within. That's why the Holy Spirit could not dwell in anyone under the Old Covenant. And we don't realize uh, sufficiently what a tremendous blessing it is to have the Spirit of God dwell within us because then we can have the very thoughts of God within. We can, understand, we can think like God thinks. Paul says, uh, says in 1 Corinthians 2, this amazing statement in verse 16, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, Who has known the mind of the Lord? But we have the mind of Christ. What an amazing statement for Paul to say that I have the mind of Jesus Christ. Now he didn't say that the day he was converted. But he had walked with the Lord and allowed the Holy Spirit from within to renew his mind so much through the years that when he wrote Corinthians, which is probably 20 or 25 years after his conversion, he could say, my mind is like the mind of Christ. I'm thinking like Jesus would think. When the Bible says we've got to walk as Jesus walked or live as Christ lived, it has to begin with thinking as Jesus thought. Unless I, I allow the Holy Spirit to change my way of thinking, I'll never be able to live as Jesus lived or serve as Jesus served the Father. And then I will not be able to complete my appointed task before I leave this earth. I don't know how many of you believe that God has a specific plan for your life from the day you were converted. And the only one who can mess it up is you. No demon in hell can mess it up. The devil can't mess it up. Seven billion people on the earth can't mess it up. But you can. That's to me a tremendous comfort. All the enemies of the gospel can't prevent me from fulfilling God's will for my life. No one, no demon, no human being. But I can mess it up myself. So it's very important for us to understand the importance of this renewal of our mind. Let me turn to Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Here it says that transformation into the likeness of Christ begins with allowing our mind to be renewed. What does that verse mean? Be, do not be conformed to this world, Romans 12, 2. That means... Stop thinking like the world thinks. But allow God to renew your mind so that not in one single day, but progressively your mind is beginning to think more and more like God thinks. So that the mind of Christ gradually takes over. And the Holy Spirit's constantly working to make us think like Christ in relation to everything and when we are tempted whether it's temptation to lust or to love money or to do something wrong or cheat or be jealous or to compete with somebody we have an option in the moment of temptation every time you face temptation you're come to a fork in the road and God is as it were asking you at that moment do you want to think now like Christ thought? Or do you want to think like the race of Adam thinks? In every temptation, the children of Adam think one way and Christ would think another way. And I'm faced with that choice numerous times in a day whenever I'm tempted. When, you're, when you feel like saying something, well, the children of Adam speak one way, Christ would speak another way. The children of Adam would speak hurtful words. And do you know that we use hurtful words mostly for those whom we call our loved ones? It's quite a contradiction. The strangers we speak 
very graciously, but to our loved ones we can speak rudely. I remember hearing of one wife who told her husband, if you will only talk to me like you talk to the stranger who comes to the door, that would be sufficient. How do we speak to people? How do we look at people? I always have a choice. I can think like God thinks, like Christ thinks, or Adam thinks. And if you look back at your life, you will see how you have made those choices at so many times in your life. And those choices have made your mind of a certain type. And you're trying to be like Christ, but you'll never be like Christ. Because at the different times when the Holy Spirit says, think like this or look like this, you don't listen to him. You don't allow your mind to be renewed. And you'll never be conformed to the image of Christ. You can pray for a hundred years to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You won't be filled with the Holy Spirit. A lot of Christians are living in a tremendous self-deception. I know because I lived in that deception for so many years. I thought it was prayer. You pray and pray and people go for umpteen prayer meetings.